past beasts colliding, and you like them. Hello friends, a beastly comparison of two equal powerhouse tractors of the past, both on 305 horsepower level, if you like our channel, subscribe, like and share this video, also use the bell button to take notifications about new videos we upload, so from one side we have the powerhouse tractor of John Deere, released back to 2002 to 2006, it is also the largest model of 8020 series, the 8520, in a comparison with the largest versatile row crop tractor monster, released from 2012 to 2014, the versatile 305, so both behemoths were the largest and strongest tractors of their series and they compete each other on the same level of power, size, speed, innovations and performance, the versatile is a little newer tractor, but this is not a problem for the older monster of the John Deere, so enough talk, let's compare. As about the engine, the Deere wears the John Deere 6081H engine of 8,1 liters and 6 cylinders, it is one of the most powerful engines that John Deere uses on their products, versatile from the other side wears a slightly larger engine, the Cummins of 8,3 liters and 6 cylinders also, so it has an advantage on overall working speed performance in the field. The gross power of the Deere is at 305 horses and it can touch the 335 horses fully boosted, Versatile's overall power from the other side is at 305 horses, so both tractors have the same gross power, but the Deere can surpass the Versatile on power boost for over 30 horses, so it comes more powerful than Versatile. The PTO claimed of the Deere is at 255 horses, Versatile's is about 10 horses lower, at 245 horses. The PTO tested of the Deere is at 292 horses with 60 liters fuel use per hour, Versatile's tested is higher at 314 horses with 67 liters fuel use per hour, so Versatile has stronger PTO tested, but Deere has a more economical one. The drawbar tested power of the Deere is at 225 horses with 56 liters fuel use per hour and a max pull of 16,153 kilograms. Versatile's drawbar from the other side is lower, at 210 horses with 61 liters fuel use per hour and a max pull of 8,780 kilograms. So on drawbar the Deere is stronger and more economical than Versatile with much higher max pull, so it takes the crown. Both tractors have the same power at rated engine speed, at 255 horses, with the Deere being more economical again as it uses 56 liters fuel use per hour, unlike Versatile that uses higher fuel at 61 liters. The peak torque of the Deere is at 1,319 newton meters at 1,200 revolutions per minute, Versatile's from the other side is slightly higher touching the 1,382 newton meters at 1,500 revolutions per minute, so Versatile has a slightly higher torque but the Deere touch its peak on lower RPM. So which one has the advantage here? The max rear hitch lift of the Deere is at 9,700 kg and the front hitch lift at 5,200 kg. Versatile's rear hitch capacity from the other side is lower, at 6,804 kg with front one not mentioned on the official PDF of the site, or maybe it is not available on this tractor, so the Deere has an advantage on overall hitch lift. The top speed of the Deere is at 42 km per hour, with 2200 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed, wearing the John Deere automatic power shift transmission and a max fuel tank capacity of 606 liters. Versatile from the other side has a slightly lower road speed at 40 km per hour, with lower rated engine speed at 2100 revolutions per minute, wearing the power shift transmission and a max fuel tank capacity lower than Deere's at 416 liters. The fact sources are down to the description for every single information, both coming from each company. So, we saw the performance and power, let's now compare the size. The gross weight of Versatile is at 9,095 kg with Ultra Steer, Deer's a little heavier, at 9,700 kg of gross and it can touch the 14,000 kg of max permissible. Versatile's max permissible is not mentioned, so the basic difference is about 700 kg extra for the Deer. The wheelbase of Versatile is at 3 meters and 18 centimeters. With the Ultra Steer, Deer's is a little smaller at 2 meters and 98 centimeters. The max length of Versatile is at 5 meters and 21 centimeters with the Ultra Steer, Deer is longer at 5 meters and 85 centimeters. The top hay to the cub of Versatile is at 3 meters and 17 centimeters, Deer from the other side is about the same, at 3 meters and 20 centimeters. So as a conclusion, the Deer has higher general power with the extra boost, higher PTO claimed, more economical PTO tested, higher and more economical drawbar with higher max pull, also it is more economical on rated engine speed with the same horsepower with Versatile, 
It can touch its peak torque on lower RPM than versatile, it has higher overall hitch lift, it is a little faster on road, also it is a little heavier, taller and longer than versatile. Versatile from the other side has a larger engine, higher PTO tested power, higher torque, it has larger wheelbase, it burns more fuel on overall power use, the fact that it is lighter than deer with larger engine can possibly make it faster on working speeds. Deer from the other side comes a little stronger and heavier so it possibly can drag heavier stuff than versatile. So this was the comparison for today, which of the two titans would you prefer? Both have massive appearance and power, also beautiful tractors, waiting your comments, do not forget to subscribe for more comparisons like this, until next video, see you.